Hi guys, so this next video is a bit of a random one, uh, but it's essentially uh, a resident here at Kairos, uh, his name's Matthew, and he's got a really cool passionate project, uh, he's doing fractal art, mm -hmm. so he's discovered this algorithm that works with um, patterns, and he's essentially just given me a run through of what's going on with that. Um, my head, I didn't notice, my head is kind of blocking the screen. There are moments where you can see it. Uh, if you guys find it interesting about what he's talking about, I can have a chat with him and see maybe if we could do another video where we go into a bit more detail into how he makes his artwork and maybe get some more photos up for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, just uh, yeah, check it out if it's interesting for you. Uh, it was definitely interesting for me. Uh, seeing what he gets up to and also I just love to see someone passionate about something you know I could really see that he was passionate about what he does and uh, yeah it was it was interesting because after uh, spending some time watching the artwork I uh, after the conversation that we had I was closing my eyes and I was still seeing the fractals so it's uh, it's it's a really interesting um, uh, process that he's, he's uh, uncovered and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it and uh, yeah it kind of get, gives you a flavor of what what's going on here and also you've got you can see the desk space as well uh, which is where I'm doing a lot of the work um, my own work uh, it is a bit dark but check it out let me know what you think much love guys I'll mute it so there won't be any um So yeah, actually negative one is there's there's a trick to this. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I haven't actually done it the way that it's it's supposed to be. So negative one uh, so it's, 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 it's easier to start with something else. So we're going to start with uh, three. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't um, No, fuck it. We're going to start with five. So... Because I, 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 cheat, I cheated a little bit on negative one. I didn't draw it exactly the way it's meant to be drawn. But. So, we'll, we'll start with five, because this is the first one that I found. Okay. okay. Yeah. So, it's five because the central object is one, two, three, four, five units across. Okay. Okay? Five squared. Right. What it tells me is in the next layer, it tells me the first one, there's one unit of five squared. That's the center. Next, it tells me... And I'm moving in one vector. I'm moving in one direction. So what's after this is this row of five that are one squared. So one, two, three, four, five. Mm. So we're moving this this direction. Okay. 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 So the next layer, it tells me that there that the objects are nine squared. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mm. by nine, and there's three of them. Boom. It tells me the next layer is going to be five squared. This is five by five, and there's seven of them. The next layer is 13 by 13, and there's five of them. And so what you can see is that starting with the, fir the, the center, yeah. one object, five squared, we add four to this column and we subtract four. So one plus four is five. Five minus four is one. Then moving down, we subtract two from this column and we add eight to this column. So five minus two becomes three. There's three of them. And mm. one plus eight is nine. They're nine by nine. So you alternate between those. So you see I've added four and minus four, minus two plus eight, mm. plus four minus four, minus two plus eight, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. 
then yeah. what, what you find wow. is that you have... Um, How can we do plus four minus four? That's the algorithm. That's, right. I didn't make it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just discovered it. <laughs> <laughs> so this, and so, right. and so you can see that in, betu in between, between the algorithms, look, here's the one for, for one. Yeah. Starting plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, uh, negative zero, negative two, negative four, negative six, minus zero, minus one, minus two, minus three, plus four, plus six, plus eight, yeah. plus ten. Am I seeing Fibonacci? No. no. And then here's another beautiful feature. So if you take two, Two um, neighboring adjacent emanations. I yeah. call these emanations. They're yeah. emanating from the center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got these two. They're side by side. This is five by five, and this is nine by nine. If you add five and nine together, you get fourteen. Yeah. If we go out and in one, we've yeah. got thirteen and one. Thirteen and one is fourteen. If we go another layer, five. The next layer, you can't tell what it is, but if you had to guess, it would be nine. It's five and nine is 14. Let's start with these two. Mm. This one and this one. Yeah. One and nine is 10. Five and five is 10. What? Every single one of the algorithms has that built-in feature of symmetry. Wow. How did you discover this algorithm? Uh, I just on paper, just with, by my curiosity. Yeah. None of this is done with computers. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. <laughs> So is that, is that, other than the artwork, is there an application to this? What do you mean? I don't know. Uh, I wondered if it would have any, um, usefulness in, like, computer chip program yeah or yeah yeah like that, or, i don't know but, but the fractal it's something it's this it's this sheer symmetry yeah which our brain is trying to make sense of which is how we're seeing multiple different patterns emerge from the same image that's the yeah. assumption I'm, getting, I, I'm drawing. And so what? Well, yeah, so like, you've yeah. got yeah, yeah. It doesn't like look this. cool. Yeah. Now you see this kind of yeah. It's completely different. When it's more like here, I've got an elliptical. Mm -hmm. I can see an mm -hmm. eye. Mm -hmm. like I like this, this one. It's got this little loop de loop thing going on in yeah. the center there. And this here. Oh yeah. You could really play with the dynamic nature of the artwork. It's like, yeah. can you do? Can you do it like maybe using mirrors or? Oh yeah, I've already got. You know, I've already got an idea. For, or maybe for some mirrors. sort of like pendulum swinging and forward, forward and back for lampshades, square lampshades that have them cut mm. out, cut out, mm -hmm. the patterns cut out, and the light from the center casting the yeah. images out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, and so you've got you've got two. Like I said, you've got two shapes. You've got this shape and this shape mm. because. Actually, let's go back to um, to this because actually, if you expand this a, is unit, the one. a unit of one, this is unit of one. There's one. There's two ways to expand through the edges or through the corners. So this shape gives rise to this through the edges or this through the corners, and this becomes this becomes this. Becomes this, becomes oh, this, I see. becomes this, okay. and this I see what's happening. becomes this, becomes this, becomes this, becomes this, becomes this, becomes this, becomes this. Right, I love. Okay, so the, you're. A, I love this one particularly because there's an origin for me anyway. But from for just from my personal preference, yeah. I love the fact there's one. I love that. Well, that's this <laughs> is this is negative one. Now the trick is that actually. Yeah. Negative one, there's not supposed to be a center of one. There's uh, actually supposed to be one, two, three, four in a square. Oh, I see, okay. And that's why I've cheated and why it's a little hard to explain. Yeah. This is actual, this is also negative one. Um, but here is this. Yeah. This is one. This is that's one, one. One. And because you have the two shapes, 
then you can, these are the two different ways that you can orient the shapes. So, oops, you've got, you've got what I call for, I, they're interpenetrating shapes, both have female and masculine qualities, but I call this female and I call this male. So the male, male pieces are occupying the corners in this one. Yeah. And in this one, they've been switched. Right, so the female, the female ones are in the corners. Like mm. everything is just moved. Everything is switched. Mm. Right. So here, this is the one for number five. You've got the male one in the center, and this one you've got the female. You see the male ones are here in the edge pieces. Now they're in the corners. Why are they must? Why are they male? It just looks, it just, it, it, yeah, 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 okay. I, I like, I, I resisted, I, like, I resisted using gender. I like it, but, though. but, I like the, it. and because they, but like, literally, like, this looks like a yoni, but look, <laughs> but, but look, it's the one that's penetrating the other, when uh, they fit together, uh, this is actually the one that's penetrating these orifices. Yeah. Even though this looks like a castle, it looks masculine, it looks fort yeah. fortified. So it's just, it, I'm still... It's I, nice though, I like that integration. I like that, the yeah. feminine and masculine integration alongside the... But, but you, see, you, see, you see that there's two shapes and they can either occupy edges or corners. Yeah. And so you can use the same algorithm and you can get that Yeah. or you can get that. Yeah. And they're slightly different. But what happens is when you tie them together... Um, well, that's cool. Yeah, this is a different pattern. A couple of different patterns I've got going on. Um, do I have... Oh, yeah, here. Whoa. Yeah, that's the... that's. There's the female one. There's the male one. And they're just tiled together. Yeah. And now you've got this... Wow. And yeah. Then, um... <laughs> yeah, man. Dude. Because I, I, I did, I did uh, nine, nine of them, actual nine of them, and put them all out together. Yeah, and you missed the beard by a couple weeks. Yeah, I'm like, oh, you've got it applied as well? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> hey, that's nice, I like that. With the flowers oh, yeah. there? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's in my, where I was meant to be going in Washington. My friends, my mom's in the way. So, yeah, man, um, that's, that's why I got here. This is, this is five made large. Same as uh, 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 <laughs> I bet, I bet the, from that they can see, they can see. You yeah. can see these. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The yeah. starlets. So from different angles, different, different. Uh, what would you call that? Because that's further away. The pixels are mm -hmm. smaller. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So that's why I want to do these like massive. Like I'm talking like two stories on the side of the building. Pay me fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> Large, huge scale murals, you know. Yeah, um, so I'm fascinated by it. And then here, I'll show you this. I'm one. not sure oh, why, but I do like it. This is my new, my my latest. Yeah. And I really like this because I I realized something in the algorithm. I was finding that. Um, I was finding the number fifty nine kept showing up again and again. Yeah. Is in three. It's over here in negative one. It's over here in eleven. Mm. And what I under what I what I realized is fifty nine is actually acting like the number sixty, which is highly composite number. It's divisible by one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, twelve, fifteen, twenty, thirty, sixty. So what we've got here is this tile. Mm -hmm. What we've got are 30 units of one, and the 29 spaces between them is 59. 
-hmm. Above it, we've got three. There's 15 of them. Three times 15 is 45, plus the 14 spaces in between is 59. Here we've got five. Five times 10 is 50, plus the nine spaces in between is 59. Here we've got nine times five mm. is 54, plus the five spaces in between is 59. Mm. So what these actually are doing is it's not actually one. It's one plus the space in between, which is two. Yeah. And it's not actually three in this case. It's four. It's right. three plus the space in between. This is six. Yeah. This represents 10. This represents, even though this is 11 by 11, this represents 12 because you're getting this, you're adding the space. Okay. And then we've got 20. <clears throat> this is 19, but it's actually 20. And this is... 29 but it's actually 30 it, it, okay. because, you're, because you're at it you're getting the, the space the in between so, and yeah. so there's actually you need an extra margin for the, the this this is 59 across but if you had one extra on this margin then you've got your 60 so this is representation of a com highly composite number that's why I was seeing 59 all over the place right I like this this is really cool man I like this this as a pattern. Mm. Is this 11? No. Uh, this one is 19. This is 11. This is 19 across. This is 11, indeed. Okay. And then, yeah, if you if you give this one some distance, you get this. This zigzags. Yeah. You get this kind of. It's yeah, man. It's like the the for me the tracks. They really stand out, mm -hmm. and the grid element to it. It's like, yeah. Yeah, there's so many different patterns. It's, it, 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 there's so much information that's just stacked in there. Yeah. I wonder so, where you see these algorithms in the natural world. I, you know, like I said, this came about from um, a fascination with the fractals. Yeah. And I've been, since I discovered this a couple years ago, I've been working on it. I've been searching high and low in the fractal art community, in the visionary art community, in the sacred geometry community. And I do not find evidence of these ordering principles. I, I really, I just, I... I I see stuff that looks like it, and I'm like, <gasps> no. It's like, it's not the same. 